Whenever we use the subd modifier on a model, we need to add support to loop cuts on it to maintain its form. We all know this thing. We can play with the form by adding support to loop cuts, but there is another simple way. You can play with the form non-destructively by just adding bevel modifier. Here I have created a simple form. If I add a subd modifier on it, I will get curved cylindrical form. And if I want harder edges on it, then I should add support to loop cuts. But rather than doing this, I can add a bevel modifier so I can play non-destructively with the form. Here I have just duplicated this object. Just delete the subd modifier on this second object and add a bevel modifier on it. And you can see I'm getting this kind of bevel add there. You can see the triangle sat there. You can adjust the bevel width by adjusting this amount. And then you can increase or decrease the segment. And then change the limit method to the none from angle. So you can get this kind of loop cuts which follows the right edge flow add there. In the profile section, you get this shape key option. By sliding this shape key, you can change the shape of that bevel. If you increase it up to 1, then you can get the supported loop cuts like this. And then you can add the subd modifier on it by hitting the control 2. And you can get smoother form with this harder edges without adding the actual supported loop cuts added there on the model. If I go to the edit mode, then you can see there are not supportive loop cuts. We have got the supportive loop cuts just because of this bevel modifier. And now I can play with the form by just sliding that shape key add there and I can change its form. If I want more curve, then I just need to decrease that shape key add there. As well as I can play with the form by sliding that amount slider. If I increase the amount, I'm going to get harder bevel. And if I decrease the amount add there, then I will get that curve bevel. There is another factor which works at there, that's the merging. If I decrease the amount completely to the zero, I'm getting that circular cylindrical form because words get merged at there. So that's why I'm getting that cylindrical form. Now I have duplicated that object and I'm going to apply the bevel modifier on it. And if I turn off that subd modifier, then you can see the actual supporting loop cuts at there, which we have got because of the bevel modifier. Uh, once you satisfy with the form of the model, you can apply the bevel modifier and you will get the supportive loop cuts on it. So this is the one of the bevel trick for non-destructive subdivision surface modeling. You can use this method in your modeling workflow. If you want to support this channel, then you can join the membership. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please hit that like button and subscribe to YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care. Where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small